नमस्ते नमस्ते शमला दीदी नमस्ते एवरीवन गुड मॉर्निंग एंड वेलकम टू द मॉर्निंग सेशन जी नमस्ते सुनील जी सभी को नमस्ते गुड मॉर्निंग सो वी कैन गेट बैक टू आर एक्सरसाइज वन ऑब्जर्विंग द सेल्फ बाय द सेल्फ Yeah, we're doing um, step six, and if we go back to the recap of the previous steps or the steps so far, in step one we were observing the imagination, particularly the feeling in the imagination, becoming aware of the feeling at every moment, and this will continue throughout. in step 2 we were asking if the feeling is naturally acceptable to us or not do we want its continuity or not in step 3 we were asking if we are comfortable with that feeling that we are having at any moment or not and in step 4 we asked the question who is deciding this feeling that i am having at every moment and we could see that it is i who is responsible it is i who is choosing deciding the feeling at any moment not the situation outside not the other person that i am interacting with no matter how difficult what we would call difficult the behavior of the other person may be ultimately the feeling that i have is my choice it is up to me my decision so if it is my decision what is the basis for that until and unless i am aware of the basis of the feeling i may keep making the wrong choice so in step i we were looking at the basis what is the basis of the feeling that i have at any moment is it right understanding is that the basis or is it some assumption in the lack of right understanding so this is important to check what is the basis and we may find when we check when we see the feeling very often we will notice that this is on the basis of an assumption in the lack of right understanding so the important thing is for us to be able to see that if it was based on right understanding then the feeling would be definite at all times regardless of situations outside regardless of people's behavior outside but if we can see that our feeling is not definite then we can also see that i need to work for right understanding we tend to largely go by many assumptions which lead to our perception of things which may not be matching the reality so if we go by assumptions without really validating for ourselves without checking within then a lot of times we may be making wrong choices we may be having feelings that are not in line with our natural acceptance 
and of course there will be times when our assumptions may match the understanding so even though we don't have the right understanding sometimes we make the right choices in the feelings so with assumptions this is how it will be sometimes we will make choices in favor of a feeling that is naturally acceptable sometimes we will make choices in favor of a feeling not naturally acceptable so it is important to see that here my feeling will be indefinite sometimes i will be comfortable with that feeling i will be happy i will be in a state of harmony and then there will be other times when my feeling is one that is not naturally acceptable to me and i will be in disharmony i will be uncomfortable i will be unhappy with the feeling but i want to be happy at all times so we could see from step 5 that there is certainly a need for me to work for make effort for the right understanding to be able to see things as they are to be able to see the reality as it is this entire existence so then in step 6 we were asking now that we can see that there is a need for us to have this right understanding what are the feelings that are naturally acceptable to us that are in line with understanding and we said that the feelings of relationship the feelings of harmony the feeling of coexistence these are the feelings that are naturally acceptable to us and we were trying to contemplate on these feelings within ourselves so yesterday this was our assignment our task for self reflection that though we may have this information that the feeling of relationship the feeling of harmony the feeling of coexistence is the one that is naturally acceptable to us how often is it that we are having this these feelings in our living are we aware first of all what is the feeling that we are having at any time are we also evaluating this feeling and asking these questions or checking referring to our natural acceptance so in that context we had asked this question that if i have a feeling of relationship for others what sort of thoughts will i have about others this is a recheck especially for those of us who may not be able to see the feeling directly so if i have feeling of relationship what kind of thoughts will i have what will my behavior be like with others this we had to contemplate and see if our feeling was matching this in our relationships particularly when others with whom i interact have an opinion different to mine or who have a view point which seems different from mine and so on or they are having a behavior which is inappropriate similarly we have to check on the feeling of harmony within us at any moment and to ask ourselves this question that if i have a feeling of harmony within will i have an acceptance for things outside situations outside or will i be disturbed when things outside don't happen in the way that i think they should my way when we give an example 
for example when the weather is not to my liking so we were to reflect on this feeling of harmony also within ourselves am i having the feeling of coexistence within me at all times this is also something that we can check although we may not be able to see the coexistence the way it is see the reality the way it is but that glimpse is there within us in the form of the natural acceptance so we can ask ourselves this are we having a feeling of coexistence or are we having a feeling of struggle so ask yourself this if you are having a feeling of coexistence within you then will you have an acceptance for everything around you will you be able to see your relationship with everything in this existence or will you have this feeling that everything is a task it's a, something that you are burdened with that life is a struggle because we see things because we see others as separate from us because we see the nature as something different from us because we see everything in this world in isolation in this whole existence we see our focus is on the units on the distinctness the separateness of the units but the unifying factor the the space that we are Im- embedded in we are not aware of that so we see ourselves as different from everybody everything and we keep thinking that we have to struggle with everything we have to keep working making effort to do things we don't go with the flow of the existence so if i don't understand that all you know the units if you see the material units that there is they are cyclic they will go through formation deformation all of that now if i don't really understand that or if i am not able to see that then i will want those um i may have the expectation that those units will continue that same way the way that i want and whenever when anything at all is not going in that direction i get disturbed and i want to change that so i keep trying to struggle with changing the outside changing my whole environment and ultimately it is because i want to be in harmony but i may not be aware of it so if i can see this that all the material units in the existence are temporary that they will go through formation deformation it is a cyclic process and if i can focus on what is permanent what is ever present at the base of all this then my expectations will be set right then i will be able to see that i can go with the you know acceptance of things as they are with that understanding of the unchanging also so even if we are not able to see that yet 
we can certainly ask ourselves this whether we are seeing life as something that is flowing and we are flowing with it is comfortable or does life look like it's a struggle at every point we have to force ourselves to be a certain way it is like we are controlling ourselves and we are trying to um force ourselves to you know to accept but we are not really accepting things the way they are so these three uh, you know feelings that we discussed the feeling of relationship the feeling of harmony the feeling of coexistence these three feelings we will notice that this is what is naturally acceptable to us this is at the base of all the others then we can tease out you know like the feeling of relationship we can break it down into all those nine feelings that we discussed and so on but right now let's not name anything let us just see this that these are the feelings that are naturally acceptable to us or not naturally acceptable to us are we having these feelings within us or are we having some feeling that is otherwise Shamarthi ji is asking, is it possible to achieve this in the lifetime? So see, again, we are postponing, we are thinking that when we get there, we'll be happy. Somewhere that is at the back of you know, these questions that we ask, is it possible in this lifetime? Will we be able to get there? But it is a journey. If I can see that at this moment, I can have this feeling, I can be comfortable. if i can do it at this moment then it is possible to do it next moment also and the next moment and the next moment so with that as i go ahead slowly these higher activities are revealed to me or i become aware of them because that turmoil that conflict that disharmony within as it settles down these higher activities become known to me or i become aware of them and as i do then i am able to see many of these uh, what may be in the form of information and concepts then we'll be able to see more and more important thing is not whether it happens in this lifetime important thing is what about now at this time can i see this can i see my feeling can i become aware can i check with my natural acceptance and can i be in harmony at this time and if i can do it at this moment then why can i not do it at the next moment it is just that i am not aware of the feeling at the moment so that again brings me back to step 1 i need to be aware of the imagination and of the feeling in the imagination at every moment adelaide ji is asking does coexistence mean that all other units material and consciousness are required for the linear growth of myself and therefore they are there it's nice to see adelaide ji is there uh, on this festive day Merry Christmas to you, Adelaide Ji. So we'll reflect on these feelings again for today, and okay. we'll take the observations tomorrow. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you.